Howdy! In this video, I'm going to walk you through the interface of SmartMouth. So, before I load SmartMouth up, just take note that we've got a range of frames selected here with this mouth layer. And we've got a dialog layer, so I'm just going to go up to Commands and choose Lip Sync with SmartMouth. That'll load SmartMouth up. And just walking through, starting at the top here, we've got an audio layer. I can uh, drop that menu down, and you can see that Smart with Mouth has gone through the entire timeline that I have open and checked for layers with audio. And if you happen to have multiple layers, you just want to make sure that you get the right one selected that you want analyzed. And then it's automatically picked up the layer I have selected as the mouth layer. And if I happen to have other layers unlocked that Smart Mouth could potentially sync, then it would list them in this menu here. So you always want to make sure these two layers are set to the uh, your targets. And then beyond that, you can set start and end values. Since I have a selection made here, it automatically picked that up. I can change each of these by clicking the up and down arrows. I can also enter different numbers in here. Or I can I can set it to the end of the timeline by clicking this button. And I can restore my the end of my selection by clicking this button. So uh, we will come back to action in a moment. Action is what happens when Smart Mouth uh, is done analyzing the audio. So let's take a look at mode first. <clears throat> there are three different modes. The modes that are available depend on on the the mouth shape, the I should say the symbol that's in the layer that you have targeted for the mouth. So in this case, this layer excuse me, this symbol happens to have labels in it, so all of those labels are listed in each of these drop-down menus. Smart Mouth automatically picks up the names that match, so E, E, it's got E there, L and L, F and F, E, so if you if you happen to name those with some part of the phoneme in it, it will uh, automatically detect that in most cases. And <clears throat> I tend to prefer adding labels because it makes it a lot easier to go through and choose. If you don't happen to use labels in your mouse symbols, and again, labels and frame numbers are both for when you're using a single symbol that contains all of your mouse shapes. So let's take a, la take a look at frame numbers. So in frame numbers, they have these steppers again so I can click through and it might be a little bit difficult to see because this symbol includes eyebrows so it's a little bit small but I can go through, I could actually tab through if I want to and change each of these and that is frame numbers and we'll just take a look at symbols real quick and you'll notice that it has to export each one of those so Symbols mode is if you happen to have each different phoneme, each mouth shape, in its own symbol. So you can use this, and again, Smart Mouth will automatically detect if it doesn't find that your your mouth layer on the current frame has labels or multiple frames. It'll default to symbols. You can use this limit to menu to limit the the symbols that are available in each one of these menus to a particular folder in the library. So I choose that folder and it's updated. So now I actually now I can see my and brow. But in this particular file there are not any uh, any mouth shapes in individual symbols. So we won't see them here but we've got previews of all the items in the library so if you wanted to use that, you can use that and now let's go back up to actions so as I said previously actions are what smart mouth does when it's finished analyzing and you click the tell me smart mouth button and so the default method the default action is to overwrite any keyframes 
in this range of frames. But you can also say new keyframes only, which ignores any keyframes that you've set already. So if you set up your symbol in such a way uh, that um, you have items you don't want changed, you should use this new keyframes only action. Now if you'd like to export a guide layer, and uh, we'll show, we'll show uh, examples of these in other videos, the guide layer will put an actual guide layer with, uh, with the phonemes in the layer so that uh, if you wanted to lip sync by hand, uh, but you wanted Smart Mouth to go through and make suggestions for you, you'd use this guide layer only. And you can see when I've selected that, it's grayed out everything else here because th there's no need for it. And you can also export to XML. XML is a simple text format, and the data that comes through in this XML file will be all of the mouth shapes with the corresponding frame numbers and you can use that to import your your mouth shapes into action script and dynamically lip sync if you have multiple characters or multiple audio files this is a a good feature to use for that and you can see is for for that one this these items are grayed out as well so let's take a look at the last couple options obviously you hit tell me smart mouth it runs the analysis and close will close the panel so let's take a look at the info button okay so this is what the the info window will look like if you happen to be running the evaluation version if you haven't entered a license key it'll actually tell you right here you're using an evaluation copy once you've purchased the license which you can find by clicking this button you'll enter your key here and you'll click activate and if you would like to check for updates you can do that in the info window as well your version is up to date and you can close that window and if you are looking for help you can click the help button so the window here uh, if you if you happen to not have a, an active internet connection this will work very well and if you'd like to go to the live help page you can click this button and it will take you to the Smart Mouth website in case there have been any, any updates to help or you'd like to look at video demos or anything else. So that is the interface for Smart Mouth. And check out some of the other videos to see some of the finer points in more detail. Thanks a lot.